Let's check out how easy it is to set up your gear using the Setup Assistant with DLZ Creator XS. When you first set up your control mode, Setup Assistant will be checked by default. Again, the Setup Assistant is going to walk you through connecting all of your gear and setting levels. It tells you to set your encoders at Unity to allow audio to pass through the mixer. It tells you where to plug in your headphones. It will play a music bed of audio to allow you to set the headphone output volume to a proper listening level. There's also help sections in the mixer as well. So if you're not hearing anything, make sure you're plugged into the correct jack. Make sure you're using the proper adapter. And if you're still not hearing anything, try a different pair of headphones. You can see that the mix agent is gonna hold your hand through the entire process. You're never gonna have to crack a manual when using the DLZ Creator XS. It tells you where to plug in your microphones, like what we showed in the easy mode. We'll go ahead and skip that since we've done that already. Now to the other input devices on the mixer. You have channel three and four. You have a line input, a stereo quarter inch jack to plug in any line level source, like a keyboard, synthesizer, or maybe an additional Mackie mixer. You can also choose to play back audio from a disc. You have a stereo eighth inch input for channel five and six, plug in a phone or any other eighth inch device. You also have the option for Bluetooth. You can connect any Bluetooth enabled device like a smartphone or a tablet, and this is a bi-directional Bluetooth signal, which means it sends and receives audio with a built-in mix minus. The mix minus is going to allow you to bring in a remote guest and allow the listener to hear everything that's plugged into the mixer minus themselves. That way there's no echo or loopback when they speak. You have a micro SD card slot or a USB thumb drive. And this is going to allow you to record directly down to the DLZ Creator XS, multi-track or stereo, or both simultaneously without having to use a computer. Here you can pair your Bluetooth enabled device. You have six sample pads with a dedicated volume control. To connect the DLZ Creator XS to your computer and use it as an audio interface, you must use the USB-C to USB-A cable that comes included with the mixer. You have main outputs for studio monitors, or you can use this in a live setting to a PA system. It tells us our setup is all complete. If you'd like to find out more about the Mackie DLZ Creator XS, head on over to Mackie.com.